What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Beerfoot Garage. Today, we're gonna make this 50 year old throttle body to a modern TPS. All right, our project for tonight seems like a simple one, but it is incredibly critical to running a modern fuel injection system. So the 914 has a throttle valve. It is literally just a metered air orifice, and it has uh, probably what I would call an archaic or a very primitive throttle position sensor. Uh, this is the old Bosch style. There's a video here you can check out on how to replace the relay board if you are keeping your Bosch D-Jet. But we need this to go away, and we need a modern, also Bosch, uh, throttle position sensor to come in that will output a signal uh, that the computer can basically read. So as you can see, if I can hold both of them here, this one, really thick. This one, not so thick. But they both take an 8 millimeter D D-shaft. So we are going to take a piece of aluminum and make a little standoff plate to adapt the bolt patterns. You can see uh, they are considerably different and make it so that this can slide onto our D-shaft in the position. I think it goes kind of like that and bolt on to the car. So uh, I have seen this done. Here's a picture of one that I've seen online. Uh, unfortunately, I don't believe they sell these, uh, but they do it for their customers. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So uh, I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum and we're gonna get this thing machined up and ready to match these parts. All right, so here's what we've got. I've got my TPS, we put this in here and this is just shy of half an inch. So I got a three and a half inch wide piece of half inch bar stock and I had it cut to three and a half inches wide. Now I don't need all this, but the goal is gonna be uh, get this center bore large enough to go over the D shaft, which it already is, and get it attached to here uh, with a couple of drilled holes. This is already tapped for M4. So we'll just drill a hole through here. I may take the stock deal and mark out the slots so I have some adjustment in here. The stock one requires some adjustment, uh, but I don't know that this one will. And then we will just get this in place. And there's enough thickness here that we will just tap this for M4. So uh, our first step here is to go ahead and uh, get this center bore big enough to go over this. And you can see that inside of the, the new one, there is a little O-ring and there is this raised section. So this is 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna probably countersink a little bit larger hole here. And then we'll go ahead and hold it up together and kind of see what it looks like. Let's knock it out. All right, so here's my basic drilling setup. This is the cheapest drill press you can get at Harbor Freight. I got a 5 8 inch drill bit uh, that I'm gonna use to kind of countersink that. And I basically just got my drill bit on there and then I'll go ahead and lock that table down in place and then it will be ready to go. So uh, this isn't the most precise thing, but I don't have a bridge port. So this is the best thing we can do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this on here and get to drill on this hole. All right, so here's the basic setup. This goes here, this comes through, this guy bolts down like that. And then obviously we'll trim off the excess here. So what I've got to do is make sure I got the throttle valve closed, this all the way on its stop or at the end, and then I got full travel. So that's about what I'm looking at right there. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the plate attached to this. I'm gonna probably use this as a template and some markings from the back and go ahead and get that drilled so that I can get these two attached together. And then we'll worry about getting those tapped and then we can trim it and make it look pretty. All right, so I have my block. I put some tape on here so it's easy to mark and punch. And you can see that this old throttle valve position sensor or whatever you're gonna call it, has the same recess as the new one. And so I'm gonna use that to locate myself here and make sure that we're in that hole in the region that it needs to be. And that looks good. Now, what I'm gonna do is take my transfer punch, got a nice one that fits in here tight, go right over where I have had the screws in the past, come across the other side, and punch this. Now, please don't leave me a comment saying there's a better way. I'm sure there is, I don't know of one. Uh, I also am gonna go ahead and take my calipers 
and double check that measurement as best as I can to make sure that it is the correct distance apart from my two punches. So if we look at these two, they show me right at 70 and some change, uh, which is exactly uh, what I measure over here. I'm feeling good about that. So we'll probably oversize those holes. So we have a tiny bit of wiggle room. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to slot them yet. So let's get those holes drilled and see if we can get it lined up. And there we go. I got my two holes drilled, they line up excellent. Got a couple of uh, screws. This is all I can get this late at night at Lowe's. And so this is gonna hold it in place and my TPS, I've already traced it. It's gonna go just like that. So I'm not sure if we will uh, trim this top half. We'll probably trim it around right here. Uh, but for now, I've already used my center punch and uh, used that uh, center finding punch and punched it here. And we are gonna go ahead and take this uh, tap and die set and we're gonna drill it out and we're gonna tap it to five uh, by 0.8 and then this should thread right in. I have gone ahead and made a zip tie throttle stop so I can keep this in a closed position because it was really just flopping around. So I've taken this and I know which way it turns and I've turned it to the closed position and I'll go ahead and tap them right there in that position. So I'll probably do the first one, double check the second one, make sure that we are good to go. And then uh, we'll start trimming the plate out and making it look pretty. Okay, and there we go. We have good action on our throttle blade. Uh, question I don't know the answer to, hopefully to find out. This is the air bleed, I have it all the way closed, and there is one air bleed screw in the throttle valve. I am gonna be using an idle air controller with like a stepper motor controlled by the ECU. I have no idea if I'm gonna need to plug these or if it's gonna be uh, enough to just let that thing control additional to uh, the air that I have here and here. So you can see it's, uh, it seems to close fine. There is a spring that goes on this and I will make sure that it closes all the way and uh, then we'll program that TPS to control what we're doing here. So now all that's left to do is just kind of make this look pretty. So I think for now, I will probably just uh, go ahead and round off this corner here, uh, round off this piece here, and I think we'll just um, kind of come up and over where this is, and we'll cut it out behind the plug here. So uh, let's knock that out. We'll buzz these edges down and uh, make it look good and get it put in the car. And there you go, a custom adapter for a Bosch TPS onto an old D-Jet system. It's got great action on the throttle valve and uh, honestly it looks pretty good. I debated about painting it black, but I think the machine look just kind of goes with it. Um, all my screw holes lined up good. I did go ahead and punch these outside two screw holes uh, here and here up to 3 16 so I have just a little bit of adjustment in this direction, make sure that this closes well. So uh, once I get it hooked up and I find out kind of what the training of the TPS position is like, uh, we will let you guys know and what I find out about these air bleed screws. So that's gonna be it for the Barefoot Garage tonight. Simple project, takes a little bit of precision, but definitely something anybody can do at home with a drill press or a drill, some taps and uh, 
a cutoff wheel. So as always, stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage between episodes at Barefoot Garage Jacks over on Instagram. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you know about 914s and what you're working on. See you guys.